So what I got here is my trace of my welt. And I'm gonna, gonna try and do this while I'm holding it. Just a little short. Got some glue. I'm putting it on both edges of the leather. And I'm doing this because I really want it to be strong, even though I'm gonna sew this point. says on the container that if we put it on both sides let it skin for five minutes and have a better bond now I'm going to sew it and I'm sure I'm going to have a great bond then so there we have these two pieces there and I have this piece ready to go on there I'll show you how it looks in a second okay so I got both sides set up for tact and I'm going to put them down together so as you can see I glued those in uh, it's ready to go and I'm, now I'm going to clamp it I thought I'd burn enough clamps on but it appears I did not basically got under clamp here and squeeze it along the edge of that a little bit Holding it in, make sure. See how a little bit of that goo is coming out of there, and that's I'm thinking that a little bit of pressure here and there is probably a good thing. Yeah, if I gotta shift it around a little bit, having pressure down at the bottom edge is gonna be the best because that's a uh, that's where the tomahawk's gonna drop into. Maybe not the front edge as much, so I think that this is more important here. It's going to be our hard, hardest points right there. You can see my terrible sewing job there. Hideous. It should look much better. Good thing it'll be on the inside. Show you what's up next. Okay, so it's been a little while since I put the video camera on, but uh, basically what I did was I stitched and stitched. I put a back loop on here, so I'm going to carry on my left side, and that will allow this one piece of leather, which will be put in like so sit on my back side or or my left side or wherever I want hang there normally so what I also did I want to make this all one piece so when I wet formed it I made myself a welt as you can see my welt is in there and uh, I haven't done any tooling for years but I figured I'd bring out the tools and put like a fire scene on there. Thought it would be pretty cool. What to do is just put a hole in there with the hole punch, throw a little lace, lace in for now. That will give me a little bit of room there. So when I stitch it, I'll stitch around here. I'll point this with my awl. I'm going to stitch it here around. Now stitch down. Stitch up up around back up and around back and around and kind of create a little stitch around and all the way up to, all the way up the welt and then I'm going to stitch this to this and that'll keep this tight and I think I want that important if it gets wet somehow that would come up all this wet forming would come apart one of the things I stitched already was where I wet formed it in the back I went ahead and I stitched it back and forth through here so that when it's closed you can see inside there I stitched right through here I stitched it back in along the back side here with this stitching pattern behind so I went ahead and glued it this welt in uh, rough side to rough side and then I took a scraper and I scraped off the finish and now while I'm here with you 
the camera's running. I'm going to glue this piece up, and then I'll stitch it, and I'll show you where we're at from there. Okay, I'm going to glue this up right now. Here we go. Got some stick and seal outdoor adhesive. Dries clear. Cost a couple bucks, Home Depot. Put a little bit on here. And so it's just to coat it on there. Nice even coat. As you can see, I beveled it in the back. Now there we go. Now what we do is we put it on one side, and for a much heavier seal, so you can see where it goes there, it says to put it on both sides. So, one of the things I want to do here, I'm going to put it like right there. Oh, I get this in the camera. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put it on both sides there. There we go. I'm going to take this piece of paper I have here. I'm going to just smooth that out a little bit. far that is right there. I'm not sure how far the blade goes. But I'd much rather have a little extra on there. Now you don't need this when you're doing it. I just did this to help keep that welt in place. And also I thought it would be nice that it helps the stitching. It's going to help with a little waterproof on the edge. Not necessarily waterproof, but it's going to help it. It'll help it out. It helps it keep in place, helps do what I want to do. I'm going to put this back in here for now. And I'm going to get some glue on it, but that's okay. And I'm going to pull this in right here with this. Put the broken side on there, and put the flat on there, and pull it in tight. And that is going to keep in where I want. And I'm going to wait five minutes and let it skin. I'll come back and show you us putting it together. So I went ahead and glued that up. I don't want to. Uh, it's glued up. Slide this puppy out of here. I don't need it in there. Get glue on it. I'll let that dry. It says two hours, but I think I did a little bit longer last time. Anyway, there it is right there. Nice and glued up. Problem is now I got three layers with the root welt. So I'm gonna have to, might, have to use, might have to use a drill to go through it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's our first stage. One of the things I am going to do is where it comes across the back here. I'm going to let level this out a little bit and just take this little bit out right here. I think that'll look just a little bit nicer. Just kind of curve that around the back because then when this comes down, that'll look really nice. And I'm also going to take the leather where to cut it right like that to a nice little angle. I like how this curves down the handle. Makes it like a little lift tab without actually doing anything. And there's extra leather if I need it in the field. So I'm going to clean that up. Show you that after we, uh, after we get it going on. Uh, just a little showcase. Show you what I did here. So I got the tomahawk. I put some belt cleats on the back. Be wearing this on my left side, so this is going to hold down my right around where my hip is, right here. My belt loop on my pants goes there. Let's see, just stitched it around there, and then I stitched it right here to kind of hold that cover and rigid, even though I had a wet form. Uh, and then what I did was I put a uh, put a deer's tooth here, but I had actually broke while I was putting it on, so. I only have one here, so I just threw it on there. 
I think it'll work. If it doesn't, I have several other teeth ready to go. So they made this out of one piece. You can see how it kind of works a little bit tight there, but I'm going to have to work it in, and that's okay with me. Uh, now we got here, I got a fire scene, and then I put this in as a loop, and then when this is down over the top, this just loops right over the top. Simple, no fuss, no snaps, no buckles. It works fine if it doesn't. All it needs to do is keep it secure, and that's what it does. So this is a good brand new leather, it's going to break itself in eventually. It's a little bit sharp on these edges, I'm going to have to sand it off a little bit. But basically I pull this over and then pop this down and out it comes. There's the tomahawk. And there it is right there, ready to go. I did some stitching right here on the side. Stitched that in, I stitched it in around there. I left this open here on purpose. That way if I need to change out this loop I can do it fairly easily. I'm debating putting another little line of stitches right here. But uh, this is where we're at for now so we're going to go with that. Take it out to the field and see how she works. Anyway, thanks for watching. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's going to be a nice, nice way to carry my tomahawk in the field. So, there we go. All set to go. Thanks for watching.